The proof of society was quite simple. We know that um, the vast majority of men today diagnosed with prostate cancer probably don't even need treatment, at least, at least in the short term. Yet, uh, there are many forces that drive men towards treatment. There's anxiety about having the cancer. There's concern that the cancer is going to get worse while you watch it and somehow go from being curable to incurable. Um, so, and, and, and we know that in this surveillance program, which is the program we try and uh, adopt for men who don't need treatment, we know that we watch them carefully and we repeat biopsies periodically. And if the biopsies get worse, we then pull the trigger and say, now is the time to treat. So we've been looking for a strategy uh, to improve compliance with surveillance, trying to ease men's anxiety about having an untreated cancer. And at the same time, would like to perhaps try a strategy so that over subsequent biopsies, the cancers would not get worse. And some do and some, and some don't. And, and hence came along this drug. And we then uh, adopted that compound. Uh, the idea came up uh, by myself to take that compound and try it in men on the surveillance program with the aim to improve the, their compliance with surveillance and also to try and minimize the worsening of their biopsy profile. And indeed, that's what was found. There was 302 men in the study. It was conducted uh, in centers both in the United States and Canada, uh, led by Princess Margaret Hospital. And uh, uh, half of the men were randomly allocated the uh, dutasteride compound, and half got a, a matching placebo tablet. And then the biopsies were repeated 18 and 36 months later. And then we could compare to see if men on the drug had a better biopsy profile than men not on the drug. Uh, and that, that was the basic uh, design of the study. And what the, the, the results were quite positive. We found that the chance a man um, either uh, has a, uh, a non-worse biopsy, in other words, a biopsy that stays either stable or gets better, or the chance that uh, he comes off surveillance due to anxiety and therefore goes on to have surgery or radiation for his prostate cancer was reduced by 40% uh, if men were randomly allocated the, uh, the uh, Avidart drug, the dutasteride. Men want to ask their doctors, first of all, am I a candidate for surveillance? It's important to realize that it's only a, a fraction of men who are diagnosed with prostate cancer that fulfill these tight criteria. But it's not a small number. It's about 50 to 60, 70 percent. So, so first thing you want to know is, uh, do I fit the criteria for surveillance? And secondly, uh, if I do fit the criteria of surveillance, is there anything I can do perhaps to, to improve my adherence and, and decrease the chance that I will need uh, radical treatment down the road, and, and I think that's where these drugs come in.